Today we are going to test five bass combos. How do they sound? Are they portable enough? And are they loud enough to play with the drummer? Let's find out. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Recently I played some smaller gigs and therefore I had to carry my amp and my speaker cabinet. So I thought it would be cool to have a smaller portable amp to play with, but one with a good sound, not just for practicing at home. It should also be loud enough for playing live or rehearsing with a band, but still be portable enough so you can carry it to a gig by yourself. So I selected five different bass combos. Let's see if any of them can convince us. First, let's hear how they sound. We're going to start with the Fender Rumble 100. The Fender Rumble 100 weighs around 10 kilos. That is really not much. It's super cool for me even to carry around. The power is 100 watts. It has got a normal equalizer and also an overdrive. If you want to know all the specs, check out the gear link in the description. It's also worth mentioning that all of our five combos have got a DI out. I'm also playing this bass with both pickups fully opened, so the sound is always the same going through the amp. The next one is the Ashdown Studio 12. It also has 100 watts and it weighs 10.3 kilos, so it's almost the same like the Fender, but surprisingly this feels heavier. This one has got a 5-band EQ and it also comes with an overdrive. Let's see how it sounds. The next one is the Eden Terra Nova TN2251. It has 225 watts, but it also weighs 16.9 kilos. So you can definitely um, feel the difference between all of those we had around 10 kilos. It has got a four band EQ and the mids are parametric. And it also has an enhanced button and I will show you what this does. And now I will turn on the enhance button. combo is the only one out of these five amps um, which has handles at both sides which makes it very easy to carry around. The next one is the hard key kickback 12. It has 500 watts and weighs 14 kilos. We've got a three band EQ and instead of gain and a volume master we just have a volume knob. So let's see how it sounds. What 
is also cool about the hard key is that the backside is angled so you can position it like a floor wedge. Last but not least we've got the Marcus Mini CMD 121P. It has got 300 watts and it weighs 11.9 kilos. It has got a 4 band EQ and it also has got a pre-shape knob and I would say let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Now we know how they sound and how easy they are to carry around, let's find out if they are powerful enough to play with the drummer. We have got a room mic set up and are going to switch between the close mics and the room mic so you can hear the difference in the room. Let's go! We checked all of these amps for various different points sound weight features and power now it's your turn tell me in the comment section which amp convinced you i already know which amp i'm going for thank you so much guys for watching i hope that video helped you a little bit for all of you who are new to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell stay safe and i hope to see you soon bye